Hey, so what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and today we are unboxing Hotline Miami Collected Edition. Not Collector's Edition, Collected Edition for the PlayStation 4. Now, why am I unboxing this right now? It's kind of an older game. Uh, why did I pick it up as well, too? Well, I wanted to go ahead and get a import game. So I've actually been importing a bunch of games recently, and I got this off Amazon for less than $27. Now, this is the Japanese version of Hotline Miami, which I'm going to go ahead and crack open right here. It is the Japanese version of Hotline Miami, and it comes with Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami 2. Now, from what I understand, it does have Hotline Miami 2 on a digital download code in here, so... It is what it is. I, they could have easily put both of them on uh, the same disc, but for some reason they didn't. But point is, it is the collected edition. I don't know if it has any extra stuff, but it does have both Hotline Miami and Hotline Miami 2. Now, I have played Hotline Miami a good amount, have not played the second one, have wanted to pick up the second one, and honestly, this was really about the same price as getting both of them digitally at full price on PlayStation Network, except I got a really cool Japanese physical copy of it here. So, as you can see, it says Collected Edition on front, has Hotline Miami in Japanese, and then has it on the side as well, too, right there on the spine. And on the back, I just like the Journey Collector's Edition, I can't read anything here aside from the fact that it does require uh, it has a network connection capabilities it's one player and it uses one gigabyte of storage otherwise known as a thousand megabytes of storage and it's also on a blu-ray disc so this is pretty neat now it also says on the back for Japan only and region 2 which PlayStation 4 is region free so that really doesn't matter but I'll go ahead and open it up this way and I am going to have to cover this up but right here you have the digital code for uh, Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Uh, it comes on that disc and then, well, on the uh, actual download itself. And then right here, you have the disc itself that should just contain the first Hotline Miami. So, uh, nice packaging and everything like that. It's really nothing super spectacular, but honestly, at the price I got it at, you know, it would really be, because it would have been, I think the first one's 10 bucks, second one's 15, and then paying ta tax on top of that, because yes, you do have to pay tax for digital downloads, unfortunately. It would have been about $27, so I got a really cool looking Japanese edition of it right here. And the reason why I also got it is because the only difference with the game here is that they've added Japanese language to them. Aside from that, the game is still bloody, it's gory, and uh, it has English on it as well too, so I can play it even though I can't read anything on the box. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone, and uh, let's play some Hotline Miami.